Hi everyone, I'm Paul Hardacre. For those who don't know me, I'm the Chief Exec of the Institute of Physics. Hope you and your families are doing okay in these unusually difficult times. Huge thanks to everyone who sent their good wishes on to IOP. The offices are closed, as you know, but we're very much open for business at the moment. And we'd love to hear from you about how you're doing or over the last few weeks in these rather challenging circumstances. We had some great messages last week from the Yorkshire branch. They sent us information about work they've been doing with a local makerspace, 3D printing visors for local hospitals. We've been putting up education resources, as have others, to help with homeschooling and with uh, teachers who are building online resources at the moment for their classes. Some really interesting work on UV disinfectant to help with sterilisation in uh, local health centres. And thanks everyone to all the support you, you've given already and the response to our call for equipment and parts and spares to help with a national ventilator effort. That's been really appreciated. And of course, the work of our national synchrotron facility that's characterising the virus. All of the information in our response to COVID-19, we're putting together in a hub on our website and we'll be updating that regularly. So please keep checking that out as we go. Many of you will know it's our 100th anniversary this year. IOP was founded in 1920 and those founders came together in 1918, ironically, in the midst of a global flu pandemic to talk about how you bring together isolated communities and build a profession for physics. And lots of our sister societies were founded in rather similar circumstances and similar times. And over recent weeks, we've been in touch with them, both the UK societies and internationally, to exchange our good wishes. And it, it's a real reminder that science is a, a global community. A few of you have asked us about what's happening with our events later in the year, like our awards and our AGM. Well, it's a bit uncertain at the moment. We're just waiting to see what new government information says, but as soon as we know, we'll keep you posted. Some of you have asked about IOP publishing, and yes, we're still open for business. Great time for the academic community, for those of you out there to write those papers and send them in. We'd love to receive them. We've even had uh, a couple of questions about any books we could recommend. I'm a mathematical physicist by background, spent most of my research career working in atmospheric physics. Um, and, I, and the two books I'm reading at the moment probably reflect that and give that away. I'm reading Ian Stewart's book, The 17 Equations That Change the World. And a book that I've had for ages now, I just grabbed it off the shelf. It was given to me by Peter Hobbs, and it's his book with John Wallace, Atmospheric Sciences, an introductory survey. So it's been fun going back and looking over my old cloud physics and nonlinear dynamics and rereading my thermodynamics, and I've decided I definitely don't understand entropy. Stay safe, everybody. Keep well. Let us know how you are, and we'll be in touch again soon. Thanks.